Hi there, Lynn the Leather Bag Lady, here with you to share some shoes today. Um, had ha have had a couple of requests for uh, shoes, and I do have a number of pairs of vintage shoes. And again, as always, these shoes are listed on Etsy, and I will leave my address below in the description box. So um, let's get going. These are kind of neat. Um, let's get them the right way around. These are um, brand new. They've never been worn. They're by a Canadian. Are they Canadian? I thought they were Canadian. No, they're not. Actually, well, Daniel Hector. I remember Daniel Hector back in the 80s. I thought they were a Reitman's brand, but I guess not. Um, they're a French, French brand. Uh, these are leather. They are a size uh, 38, European 38. So I think that's between a seven and a half and an eight. Um, yeah, Paris, France. Um, I think they are owned by a German company now. So they are still in business, but they've been around since 1962, I believe. Yep, 1962. I'm just checking my notes. Uh, I do love the history of all these uh, items, but I can't remember everything. But uh, as you can see, they are brand new, never been worn. And um, they're a great shoe, really cool shoe. I can just see these with a nice wide leg pant, um, a little bit of pink. They're kind of a salmon-y pink, uh, rose pink peeping out the bottom. These are really cool. I like these. Uh, next are a pair of Vanellis. Now, Vanelli is a you're a... American brand. Don't know too much about them. They're navy blue. They're suede and leather. Again, these have barely, barely been worn. I don't. Uh, I don't pick up stuff that is. Um, the only time I pick something up that is really uh, worn is if it's something a little unique. And I have a, a bag over to the side. I'll grab it in a minute because it's a perfect example of uh, what I would pick up that has some damage because um, it's just a little different. So these are a bigger size. Now where is, huh. And they've got Vanelli stamped. Just little things like that are going to help you appreciate that it's a, oh, they're an 11, an 11 slim. So for all you ladies out there who have a bigger foot, um, size 11. There you go. But they're nice, nice, uh, nice leather. Can't handle, I don't know why, why would anybody wear plastic shoes? I don't get that. Is that me being a snob? I don't think so. But, and then we've got some, uh, sensible naturalizer, uh, brown lace up shoes. Again, never been worn. I'm good at this stuff. It's not as easy as it looks, actually. I'm just going to flip over because I've got some information on naturalizer. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so um, it's not as easy as it looks. And a perfect uh, example of that is uh, my parents go down to Florida every January, February. And I had asked my mom to look for um, either coach or fossil. Uh, when she was down there if she you know went thrifting or not that she would go thrifting but you know if, if they passed a place maybe they would go in and um, I, I do follow a number of Florida based YouTubers Rally Roots and Dion Dean and they're all Florida based and they always talk about the wealth of vintage um, stock down there because it is an older uh, community down there so my mom came back with six bags. Neither of them are coach or fossil and neither of them are leather. And my dad kind of freaked because I guess she asked him to do this on days maybe when he wasn't feeling quite like doing it. And you traipse me around those stores and none of them are leather. And she couldn't believe that none of them were leather because they look leather. And there's a couple of brands. Uh, David Jones is one. His stuff, I've been duped a few times by his stuff. Now I just know that his stuff is not leather. And then there's another one, um, a lady's name. I can't remember. Can't remember. But um, they're not leather. And I don't get this whole vegan leather thing. 
vegan leather is plastic. It's plastic. Or uh, how is it online? Um, oh, I don't know what it's called. But it's pleather. And that will end up in a landfill. And that is never going to break down. If it's leather, eventually it will break down. So how is that eco-friendly? I don't shout out enough about the eco-friendly portion of my business in that I'm repurposing and reselling, um, which I guess is important. I just do it because it's better quality. The vintage stuff, the hardware is solid. The leather is a better quality. The stitching and a lot of times is hand done. It You just can't compare um, the bags today to the vintage. And, uh, you know, some people are freaked out that they were previously owned. Half the time, they've barely been used. So, um, you know, look at these shoes. These shoes are 80s, and they've never even been worn. These shoes are 80s, and they've hardly been worn. These shoes are 80s, and they've never been worn. So, you know, it's it's not... It's not a terrible thing to to reuse. I know shoes are a bit a bit tricky for some people, and I don't pick up anything that I wouldn't put on my own feet. So um, you know, I take a lot of time. Everything is hand picked. It's all professionally cleaned inside and out. Um, uh, my stock is a reflection of me, and um, I'm very 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 particular about what I. Uh, sell on to to my customers but let me just grab the bag I was talking about so look at this little bag so this is kind of a cool bag it's a 70s uh, tooled um, you know there's a, an a Indian motif on there but the damage is the lining so the lining has has ripped and it, it's a lot of dye from the bag itself. So am I going to throw that out because the lining's ripped? To be honest, I would just cut the lining out. Um, you know, if you wanted to repair it, you could. But um, I would just cut the lining out. I mean, the interior is, you can just see it down. You could stitch it up. Um, there's a little pocket here, but this is the kind of thing that I would I would still sell. This is going to get on to Etsy at some point, um, just because it's it's unique, it's different. But you know, something that is just a run of the mill bag, I probably wouldn't um, you know I wouldn't put it on there. So anyway, that's just a little bit of a background on what I do and how I do it and why I do it. So hopefully you're having a great day and you've enjoyed uh, checking out some shoes. There's, excuse me, there's more shoes to come and uh, lots, lots more bags. If you haven't uh, checked out my stockroom tour video, a couple of minutes, you know, it's uh probably one of the first five or six videos I did. Uh, go check it out because it's kind of cool uh, when you see the amount of stuff that I have. And that's just one stock room. I have two sheds and another room full. So lots more to come. We'll be back with you probably tomorrow. Take care.